Yo, what is up guys, Phasm here, and today I have episode 4 or 5, but it's going to be 17 days till AW now, so I hope you guys are excited for that, so actually that'll be episode 3, but uh, yeah, 17 days till AW, today the gameplay is going to be a 233-2 with an 82 gun streak with an M27 slash slot, so a pretty unique gameplay based off of gun usage and everything like that, it's not every day you see the slot being used in a high gun gameplay or even the M27 really, and uh, one little note about Yemen gameplays is the majority of the time I do spend in this ammo room right here, which uh, you know, it doesn't look like, like it takes too much skill, but it is pretty hectic, and if you can just bear with me on that. Uh, anyways, boys, today on the commentary topic is going to be about uh, special girls in my life. And, um, you know, usually when I have a girl who is more than just a friend and things start getting pretty serious, obviously I like to bring her into my YouTube scene and everything like that. And my current case right now is, I'm pretty sure all of you guys are familiar with Kimmy, but uh, if not, uh, Kimmy is, Kimmy's bae, Kimmy's amazing, Kimmy is the girl that I can see my future with, and, uh, you know, if you, I'm not sure how you guys are with this, but I've always drawn, like, she can't be bae if she don't like what you do, you know, and if you're a gamer, if you play Call of Duty, if you upload videos, if you stream, or anything like that, and if you hide it from her, it's not gonna work out, because, obviously, if she, like, actually, like, cares about you and everything, she's not gonna care if you're a little bit nerdy, if you have a nerdy side in it, or anything like that, and... You know, I have a win-win situation because Kimmy will play COD with me, and that's just awesome. You know, just imagine a nice Call of Duty featuring a, a little bit of booty, if you know what I'm saying. But I'm just gonna shy away from that, try and keep it PG Phasm. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, um, Kimmy's just an amazing girl, and I'm not sure how many of you guys have girlfriends or have experience with girls that you've taken to a, a pretty serious level. You know, obviously, if you have a girlfriend in middle school, it's not going to be as serious as if you're my age. You know, 16, 17, getting older. Um, and then when you're 18, things are getting hella serious, you start living together, and shit goes down like that, but uh, I'm not quite at that stage yet, but still to the point where things are getting pretty serious, and um, Kimmy's not an e-girl, you know, a lot of people are saying that she's an e-girl, but uh, we actually met in 7th grade, um, and, you know, we were friends in 7th grade, and then I moved away to Florida, I moved to Florida um, right after 8th grade, uh, a day before freshman year was when I moved to Florida, so... That was that, and we had kind of kept in touch and everything, but I mean, not not too much. Then I came back up with this summer, and we reconnected in more than one way, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, now our relationship is just flourishing, and I'm going. Uh, I plan to be going back up there in December, and I cannot wait for that to go down and have some fun times up there and hang out with her and everything. And uh, maybe I'll bring some videos out for you guys. I'm not sure what'll happen yet. You know, who who knows? And now back to the subject of girls and everything. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure how many of you guys have girlfriends or anything like that. But don't hide anything from them because uh, they're, they're gonna find out either way. And besides, it's a lot better. Like I've, you know, like back in like seventh and eighth grade when I first started the little phasm thing, I didn't really tell many people. And I just kind of it's not that I was like I, I don't really care what people think of me to be honest. Like. That's the kind of person I am. Like, if you don't like me, I don't really care. Like, I, my job is not to please you. But, I mean, obviously, at, at the same time, though, low-key, you're like, you want to make people happy and you want to have friends and everything. So, uh, I didn't tell people at first. But then, when I moved to Florida, you know, it, a guy on my basketball team found out and told my whole team in an attempt to make fun of me. But it actually turned out to be really awesome because I gained, like, 100, 200 subscribers. Just stuff like guys in my school. And then, uh, my past years of high school, I'd walk around and people would call me Phasm and everything and I don't know, it's it's uh, taken a whole new role of me and it's definitely got me a lot of exposure and it's, it's pretty cool being recognized and you'd be surprised at how many people play Call of Duty, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just walking around your class or just like thinking about thinking about all the guys in your class, I'm pretty sure at least half of them, have, probably three-fourths of them have played Call of Duty before, probably about a half of them have played it to a certain serious extent and then you'll have like a one-third of them who, you know, actually like watch YouTube videos and watch live streams and everything and that's kind of how I get a lot of exposure and make some of the good friends that I have today. Like, like, just recently I met two guys in my science class and they were talking about Call of Duty. Like, I casually jumped in the conversation acting like I didn't know what I was talking about or, I mean, a little bit. And then we ended up hanging out and I went over to his house and we played COD together and now he watches my streams and, you know, wants to make videos with me. And he's actually a video editor for montages, so we're going to have a montage project coming together soon for Advanced Warfare. And you'd be surprised on the connections you can make if you're just honest about things, you know? Like, don't try and shy away from things if you're worried about what people think about you. Because in reality, you're not here to please them. Like, who cares what they think, you know? Just do what makes you happy. So, um, kind of went off topic a little bit there. Kind of ranted. Got uh, my doctor, my doctor Phil on for my phasm. 
Dr. Phil took over passing the shoes. But anyways, boys, like I mentioned, this is a, a 233 to 2. 17 days to advanced warfare. I cannot wait. Hopefully you guys are as hyped as I am. And stay tuned for, for future videos. Tomorrow we have day or 16 days till advanced warfare. Make sure to leave me a topic below if anything you want me to talk about. And I'll talk about that. So if you guys please give this video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you all later. I'm out. Peace. And I just met my mic. Thank <laughs> you.